question for you guys. Do you like to decorate for Easter? I love it so much. I love bunnies, eggs, and flowers here and there. So I'm going to share with you DIYs that you can do on a budget using Dollar Tree items. My name is Jazz and welcome to my channel. If you like home decor, DIYs and projects on a budget, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos. And for today's video, I want to share with you 19 ideas that you can do, that you can DIY yourself on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies to decorate for Easter slash spring because these ideas can be used also for all the spring season. And I really hope that you like it, that you enjoy this video that you can get some ideas and inspiration and if you like this video please a big thumbs up that really helps to support this channel and guys remember to follow me on my social media pages i have my instagram i have been posting so much there reels um stories posts so make sure that you check the link in the description box as well as my other social media pages and my webpage justomite.com and guys i'm going to share with you 19 ideas to decorate for easter slash spring so let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites and yeah let's see how it together for these projects i'm going to use these bath mats that i get from dollar tree i get two in this color and i really like them so i decided to make a throw pillow using these mats and the first thing i did was to put them together as straight as possible and then i'm going to be adding you can add maybe hot glue or fabric glue to stick um your mats or maybe you can saw them if you have a sewing machine um but i'm going to make it super simple and i'm going to use um this fabric glue and i'm going to add it to three of the edges of my mat guys you must glue them to the opposite side and then turn the mats over and this way your throw pillow is going to look like it was sewing and it's going to look so much better Like I said, you need to add the glue to only three of the edges of the mats and then once the glue is dry, you can turn the mats over and this is how your throw pillow is going to be looking for the moment. Now it's time to add any design that you want and I cut these um, piece of paper in like a carrot shape and I'm going to be um, drawing these to any piece of like fabric that you have I have this one um, from Dollar Tree and I like that has these like strips pattern so I'm going to be cutting three carrots in this fabric before to glue them to my throw pillow I decided to add something on the back to make them pop out a little bit more so i'm going to be cutting three other carrots a little bit bigger in this burlap fabric that i have at home and just in case i'm going to leave you a link in the description of where you can get these type of burlap fabrics from there i'm going to be adding the fabric glue to my carrots to glue them together from there once you have your three carrots this is how they're going to look and you can put them on your throw pillow i decide to stick them in different directions with a little bit of hot glue once i stick all my carrots i'm going to be using this youth cord and i'm going to be sticking that youth cord on my on my throw pillow to basically make as if all the carrots were tied together and it will look much more like fun and cute Okay, once I stick all the youth cord on top of the carrots to make them look like if they were tied together, I am going to be doing the foliage that all the carrots supposed to have. And for that, I'm going to be using more youth cord and I'm going to be making like tassels. Um, they look like small tassels for me, but I'm going to be cutting like the edges. I'm going to tie them with a small knot and then I'm going to be gluing that youth foliage to the top of the carrots. 
now it is time to fill your pillow you can fill it with anything that you have around your home maybe another old pillow or maybe blankets or i don't know you name it anything that you have and that you think it works and then you need to fold the other side of the pillow and glue it with hot glue to make sure that it's going to have the same um, like finished look on all the edges of your pillow once i was done this is how my project turned out and i am in love i love how it looks i love how neutral it is and how cute it looks this diy was so inexpensive using the bath mats from dollar tree um, and it looks amazing with a high-end look and i really hope that you like it use this Dollar Tree sign and you will need only three eggs and you have to take them off once you have them apart I'm going to remove the glitter from the eggs and for that I'm going to be using my sanding sponge from Dollar Tree and oh my god whenever I do this it makes me a mess in my work area um so I really like to use for that my super cute mini vacuum that cleans everything for me and you can pick up all the dirty and the glitter that you have in your work area and I really like this thing so in the description box of the video I'm going to be leaving you the link of where you can get it once everything is clean finally i'm going to paint these eggs with my metallic silver spray paint and let them dry i want to create a galvanized look so for that i'm going to use white and a dark gray paint and you should use a brush and you need to start applying both colors creating spots on the whole egg and you should try to do the same with all the eggs once it is dry you can use stickers or you can write it by hand or you can use your Cricut if you have and I decide to write bless our nest and I put a transfer paper to my vinyl and I will glue one word on each egg and just make sure that they look straight and to add a nice touch I'm going to use my youth cord I made three small bowls and I stick one on each egg to make a base I will use a wooden piece from Dollar Tree and you can use so many things but I decide to use this and I will cut it in half. Then I want him to have like a wooden look so I'm going to use my Wervoli wax in antique color and I'm going to paint this piece. Once it is dry to glue the eggs you must first stick a small block in the back of each egg so that way they can stand and then you can glue your eggs to the base um, with some hot glue or wooden glue. Finally, I'm going to stick a small piece of youth cord around the base just to add a nice touch. And my love, this will be our project. Simple and rustic. I really love how it looks. And this sign was inspired by a piece that I saw, I think was in TJ Maxx. And I could DIY this for a fraction of the price. And I am very happy with the result. I hope you like it too. be using aluminum foil and you should start by creating the shape of a giant and thick carrot using enough of this aluminum foil
once you have the shape that you want um, you need to cover your carrot and for that I'm gonna be using youth gourd um, this one is from Walmart and I really like it because it's a little bit thicker than the one that Dollar Tree has and I'm going to start by gluing it with hot glue and roll it until the carrot is completely covered then on the other side of the carrot I will leave a space to stick foliage and this one is from Dollar Tree and you need to stick um, the foliage inside with hot glue and then you need to stick the rest of the youth cord that you have because you need to cover all the aluminum foil And guys, this is not necessary, but you can burn um, the youth cord hairs that they have. And I just think they are going to look much better and gives more color and texture. Um, just being careful not burn the foliage or your fingers. Now I'm going to use these table tennis balls from Dollar Tree and I'm going to make a small hole with my hot glue gun just to be able to place a round dowel and paint the balls. I think this way is much easier and to paint the balls I will use a gray color and once I paint the four balls that I need you can use maybe black color paint and you need to make like a distressed look um, it's not necessary but I don't know I think they look better this way than just one color to glue all these balls I'm going to use hot glue um, but you should try first to mold just a little bit the aluminum foil of your carrot before hitting each ball just to have like more space for the balls and this way they're going to look like the wheels of a car and I think they look super cute I decided to use these bunny pigs from Dollar Tree you can get to per package um, but I really want to change that small bow that they have for one that looks a little bit more farmhouse so I decided to use my buffalo check ribbon and I stick it on the bunny and you can cut also the wooden dowel just to be able to stick it on the carrot you can create a steering wheel with almost anything guys and this time I'm going to use a magnet that I had on hand and I painted in black color and just to save time I really like to dry the paint with my heat gun and in the description box of the video I'm going to be leaving you the link of where you can get it as well as my Amazon store link then you can stick your magnet on the top of the carrot and you can add a small stick just to make it look more realistic. And guys, this will be the result of the project and I love how it looks. For less than $5, you can make this project in the size that you want because guys, you have the control of how much aluminum foil you use. Going to be using this one from Dollar Tree and I want to make a very simple wreath and I'm going to be using this greenery that I think I have it from three years ago from Walmart and I'm going to be cutting the stems and I'm going to be adding these on the edge of the wreath and this is going to add the effect that my wreath is bigger than what it is you can add hot glue to stick the greenery or you can put the stems between the wreath and you can reuse it later if you want 
next i'm going to be using these they are like ferns these looks a little bit different from the ferns but i'm not sure if someone know the name of like this plant please let me know in the comments um anyways i'm going to be using these i cut the stems and i'm going to be adding these to the wreath too and this is going to help a lot to make my wreath look fuller As you can see, it still have so many like empty spaces and you can put so many things there. I'm going to be using these small carrots that I get from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack with six. I am like a very neutral person, so um, I prefer to have like neutral decor around my home. So I decide to like cover the orange color using like a ribbon or twine and add hot glue. So that's what I did, I covered their orange color to make my carrots look a little bit more neutral. Once I was done with the first one, this is how my carrot is going to look and I just did the same with the rest of the carrots and I really like them and I love how they look on my wreath but if you like the orange color, just leave them like that because I promise you it's going to look so amazing and it's going to add like a pop of color on your wreath. Before sticking them to the empty spaces on my wreath, I decide to add like, like a little bit of moss where I'm going to put the carrots and then I stick the carrots on top i i ended up seeking about five carrots and now i have an extra one for another project once i was done i put my wreath on the wall and this is how it turned out and i really like it i love the colors and i love how neutral it looks but i want you to let me know guys give me a thumbs up if you like the carrots in this neutral tone or let me know in the comments if you prefer to leave them in orange color hmm, let's see what do you think guys For this next project, I'm going to be using these wooden sticks that I got from Home Depot. They are so inexpensive. Um, so I'm going to be using one and I'm going to be cutting four pieces about 18 inches long each one. And each one of them has to have a 45 degree angle that I cut with my saw machine. Once that I have my four sticks, I'm going to be using my sanding machine to sand all the edges and make sure that my wood has a smooth surface. Then I'm going to be using my stain in special walnut color. I really love this color. I'm using this in so many projects. Um, so I'm going to be painting my sticks in this stain and then let them dry. Once all the pieces of wood are dry, it's time to stick them all together. And for that, I'm going to be using wood glue. I'm going to add it to each angle and then I'm going to stick them together. And just to reinforce my frame, I'm going to be using my stapler and I'm going to be adding staples to each border of the frame. I have made this frame before and I really like it, but if you don't want to make this type of frame, you can use a canvas um, from Dollar Tree or maybe from Five Below. They are so inexpensive and you can do the same and you don't need to cut any wood. Once I leave the wood glue dry for a couple hours, this is how my frame is going to look. Then I need to make a background and for that I'm going to be using this foam board from Dollar Tree. You can use maybe a cardboard or a piece of wood if you want. I'm going to make it so simple using this foam board. I cut it the size that I needed and then I'm going to be using my stapler to add staples to the edges and basically stick the foam to the frame. I got this stapler from Amazon and the link is going to be in the description box. Okay, once I have my frame and it has a background, I'm going to be working on what I want to put on the back on the background. So for that, I'm going to be using these cute um they're like wooden eggs, especially for kids, but I'm going to be using one of it. 
to um, decorate it and I'm going to be using this scrapbook paper you can use maybe um, any paper that you have any color you can paint it um, you can be so creative with these I'm going to be using these that I like it has like small dots in black color and I'm going to draw the shape then I cut it and then I stick it with hot glue once I have my egg I want to add um, like a border so for that I'm going to be using youth cord and I'm going to add hot glue on all the edge of the egg and I'm going to stick the youth cord next I want to make another egg but a little bit bigger this one is another one that you can get from Dollar Tree It's super big it's super cute you can do so many things with these egg sign and I'm going to be doing the same thing but using this other pattern this is actually a um, vinyl from Cricut but I'm going to be using it as a scrapbook paper and I'm going to stick these to my egg when these two pieces are stick together I'm going to be adding youth cord to the edge of the egg again this is going to add a really nice touch and I just did the same to the two eggs that I'm going to be using to make them look like a set once both of my eggs are done this is how they look and I'm going to be um, like putting them on where I want them to be but before sticking them I'm going to be sticking these decal that I made in black vinyl that says happy and I'm going to stick these on the top of my sign and then on the bottom I'm going to be sticking this other one that I made that says Easter um, and I've made these two using my Cricut if you don't have a Cricut it's okay guys you can use use any other sticker you can use um, paint and paint it yourself or you can draw or stick something else from there I just have to stick my two eggs with hot glue to my foam and this is how my project turned out it's super cute so inexpensive it's super big 18 inches by 18 inches um, square feet and I'm really happy how it turned out I think it looks simple and modern in farmhouse at the same time and I just love it using this small bunny head um, it is from Dollar Tree and you need to paint these first and for that I'm gonna be using my spray paint in satin espresso once it is dry I'm going to be using this floral moss also from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to start putting hot glue on my bunny's head and then I'm going to cover it with the moss until the bunny's head is completely covered now you're going to need um, a round dowel I get this one from Walmart and you can paint it if you want um, to look a little bit more darker and for that I'm going to be using just um, like brown paint and you will also need a container or a pot like this this one is from Dollar Tree I painted in brown color as well and then I'm going to add a piece of foam inside of, of our pot and then I'm going to insert that round dowel inside so that way the dowel is not going to move and I'm going to add some Spanish moss so that way um, the foam is, is not going to be seen Finally, you can add some hot glue or E6000 because it's going to be more stronger that way and you're going to insert the bunny's head and you need to hold it until it dries and that's it guys this will be the result of our first project and I think it is super cute and it's oh my god super easy to make a Easter topiary um, I think it's a very um, different way to do it and I just love it or size of Easter egg 
that you have you can get one from Dollar Tree but I'm going to be using this one that is from Dollar General um, it is just one dollar but I like it because have this like base and you can stand your egg and also I'm going to be using raffia from Dollar Tree and I think one package is enough for this egg size so what you need to do is try to divide the raffia into sections and then make a knot at one end of the raffia and start making a braid and guys I promise that this project is going to look awesome but this can take you a little bit of time you know like make all the braids in the raffia is going to take you a little bit of time but I promise you that it's going to look amazing and it is super easy to do Once you have all the raffia braids, it is time to start hitting them with the hot glue um, to your egg. And after I hit the first um, braid that I made, I noticed that you can actually see the yellow color of the egg throwing out. And I don't want that. So what you can do is paint your egg a color that looks very similar to the raffia. And that's what I did and then let it dry and then you can continue sticking all the raffia throughout the egg until it is completely covered to add a nice touch to the egg I'm going to stick these leaves that I get from Walmart on the top of the egg and also I'm going to stick a bow with this ribbon um, that is from Walmart and have the buffalo shake pattern And guys, this will be the result of our raffia egg. I'm so happy how it looks. And I just hope that this project inspires you to make so many things with the raffia and just be creative. I love how this project turned out and extremely budget friendly. For this next project, I'm going to be using my Weberly shock paint in mineral color and I really like this color. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing for today's video is it's mixing the shock paint with this baking soda powder and I'm going to mix these two things to make the shock paint a little bit um, like thicker and that way it's going to add more texture on what I'm going to be painting. And I'm going to be painting these little cute foam bunny that I got from Dollar Tree and I really like it. I love the size of it. Um, so I'm going to be using the shock paint and I'm going to be painting my whole bunny with this color. And this is going to make my piece look like it's made of cement. It's going to add a lot of texture and it's going to look super cute but to make it a little bit more realistic and add more dimension to the bunny I'm going to be using my shock paint in white color and with a, and with a thin brush I'm going to be um, adding a little bit of color or like shade on every part of the bunny on the legs, on the ears, on the eyes, on the mouth and this is going to make it so much cuter Once I paint my bunny and everything is super dry, this is how it's going to look. And I love it. I think it looks so high-end and, and super like heavy, but it's actually made of foam. So it's super fun. Um, next, I'm going to be using this piece of wood that I just have around my home. And I'm going to be adding greenery on top. You can use any piece of wood or maybe like a plank or any vase that you have and that you like. You can add greenery and then you can put your bunny on 
on top. Guys, once I was done, this is how my project turned out and I think it looks amazing with a high-end look. It looks so expensive, but actually is a foam bunny, um, so I think it's super fun. For this next project, I'm going to be using this round burner cover that I get from Dollar Tree. It comes in a set of two and this is the bigger one. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is to paint these using my spray paints in this matte Spanish moss color that I really like. And I'm going to paint it and then let it dry. Once it dries, this is how it's going to look. And next, I'm going to be working with these wooden circle plaque that I get from Walmart for only 97 cents. And I'm going to be removing the staple that has on the back side with these, with these tool that is for that, for remove all the staples. It works amazing and you can get the link in the description box. Um, and it's also on my Amazon store. I want these to add a decal or you can add um, like a sticker or whatever you want. I made this one. that. that that says hello spring and I did it with my Cricut in this green um, like vinyl color and I'm going to be sticking this decal on my circle plaque next I'm going to be sticking my circle plaque on the center of my um, burner cover and I like it a lot it looks amazing um, and I think it's the perfect size because I'm going to be adding something to the borders for that I'm going to be using these wooden beads you can get wooden beads from Amazon too and um, I love the ones that I always use of course the link is in the description box and I basically put them on a piece of wire to have them all together and and that way it's going to be so much easier to stick them on my burner cover and I stick them with hot glue all over the edges of the burner cover To be able to hang these on the wall or anywhere, I'm going to be adding a piece of ribbon. This one is super cute. Um, I was so impressed when I saw these on Dollar Tree. I think it's new. I never see this ribbon before, but I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments if it is new or not. Anyways, I stick a small piece and then I stick it on the back side of the burner cover. Then just to add a nice touch of like greenery or something else or maybe you can put flowers if you want more color. Um, you can add those on the top with a little bit of hot glue and that's all. Guys, once I was done, this is how my project turned out and I really like it. I, I think it looks super like neutral but modern at the same time with a high-end look. And it was so inexpensive to do using Dollar Tree products and things that I have around my home. You don't always need a wreath to make a wreath. You can do it using other things like this burner cover. <laughs> One of these wooden sign from a Dollar Tree and the first step will be to remove the youth cord um, and then use Mod Podge and place it on your entire sign. Then you can use a scrapbook paper if you want and I really love this one. I love the pattern it has and I get it from Hobby Lobby. And what you need to do is to just stick it on your sign and then you can place another layer of, of Mod Podge on the top just to add more protection. Once your sign is dry, you can cut the extra edges um, from the scrapbook paper that it has around. And if you can see, this scrapbook paper is just a little bit smaller um, from the size of the egg, but it's okay, no big deal. Um, we're going to work with that later. I'm gonna be making a base for the egg to stand. So I'm gonna be using wooden blocks from Dollar Tree. You need six and you need to stick three together with hot glue or wooden glue. And you need to have a total of two um, like wooden sticks. I hope that makes sense. And then if you want, you can paint them. And for that, I'm going to be using my Reveille Wax in Antique color and I give it one coat of paint and let it dry and guys these are going to work 
like a base for my egg to stand so I'm going to stick it on the bottom of the egg with hot glue um, one piece on each side of the egg Now I'm going to use this beautiful bunny that I get from another sign also from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove um, that small bow and then I'm going to be painting my bunny with a black um, color using my Reveille Shulk paint and because I'm a little bit impatient I want that things dry faster and save time so I'm going to be using my heat tool and I really love it and in the description box of the video I'm going to be leaving you the link of where you can get it. Once it is dry I'm going to stick this bunny to the side of the egg so that way I can cover that small space that I have left over and that the scrapbook paper doesn't cover um, and then you can heat the bow again to the bunny and I actually made like a small book head with greenery and some youth cord and I'm just going to stick it um, on the like the hands of my bunny and I decide to give it like a final touch to this project and I'm going to be using um, youth cord and I'm just going to stick it around the edges of the egg sign with hot glue and that's it this will be the result and i especially love the pattern that this scrapbook paper has and i really love the combination of the colors that i use one of these veggie storage from Dollar Tree you must open this guy and you're only going to need like the gray part that have inside and you can leave it maybe gray if you like it but I decide to paint it a little bit more neutral using a beige color and I actually give it two coats of paint for better coverage And then I decide that maybe it can look good if I made a distressed look with um, a darker color. So I use my Reveille Shulk paint in truffle color and I just give it a distressed look with my brush. Inside, I just add some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree and then X. You can use Dollar Tree X if you want, some colored X if you like, but I really want to look more like real. So for that, I use these that Walmart sells, very, very cheap, and I just place three inside of um, like container. And at the end, I decide to add this mini garland beads that it's from Dollar General. And on one side, I place like fresh eggs that I made with my Cricut and I just put it inside. And that's it. This is how our project is going to look like. And I really like it. If you have like a farmhouse style at your home, I think you can use this for all year round and it's going to look amazing. this project I'm going to be using this bamboo wreath that I get from Dollar Tree and I love these I think these wreaths from Dollar Tree are one of my favorite ones um so yeah I'm going to be using these and I'm also going to be using this hop clover pick that I get from Walmart and what I'm going to be doing is to cut the stems and then I'm going to be inserting those between the branches of my wreath to hold them 
since that way there is no need to um like use glue and if you want to um maybe like reuse this wreath and the stems at another time for a different diy wreath or another project that you may have on mind you can reuse them too guys another thing is that you can get the foliage or the greenery from walmart it only costs 97 cents and i think they are made from a better quality um and it has more like foliage or flowers than the ones from dollar tree so i always like to get mine from walmart once i stick my greenery um, around my wreath this is how it's going to look and next i want to add something else on those empty spaces so i'm going to be using these that is called like dipsophilia bundle um, i think that's the name of like these dry flowers and i get them on clearance on at home stores and i really like them and i think they look so cool with this greenery that i use from walmart and i'm going to be like inserting those two on my wreath and it's going to make my wreath look a little bit fuller um, and it's going to add more color and a different texture guys another idea is that when you are putting like the greenery or the flowers on your wreath you can put them to like looking to the outside of the wreath i hope that makes sense and that is going to help to um, make your wreath look a little bit bigger than what it is Okay guys, once I done um, putting all the stems on my wreath, this is how it looks and I really like it but I want to add an extra touch and I'm going to be using these, um, I think it's like a berry garland, I think that's the name of this, um, it's from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be putting these on the back, I'm going to make like a small knot and then I'm going to be turning these all over my wreath and this is going to add a nice touch of like a climbing plant or something like that, I'm not sure about the name of this. But I think it looks super cool. Once I was done, this is how this project turned out. It's so inexpensive. I think I spent less than $5 for sure in this project. It looks amazing. It's perfect for spring. It looks neutral. This greenery has flowers in like a white and neutral color and I really like it. next DIY you need a canvas and this one is six by eight um, inches from Dollar Tree and the first thing that you need to do is remove um, the canvas fabric and the clips that always have on the back because you only need the wood frame I will also going to use this Dollar Tree moss that I found and I'm so happy for these and I will cut it the same size of our wood frame and then you can stick it on the back side of the wooden frame with hot glue. I have this egg left over from another DIY that I made um, so I will use it for today's project and you can cover your egg um, maybe with scrapbook paper like I did or like the sheet of a book or so many things you can use that you like the best and I'm going to cut the shape and then I'm going to stick it with Mod Podge to my egg you can add more details to your egg, adding maybe youth cord around the egg like I did and then I just heat a small bowl that I did with the same youth cord and finally you can stick your egg um, to the moss with just a little bit of glue because remember that you can change the egg and put so many things, you maybe can change it later for a pumpkin. I love how it looks and you can add these to your tea your tray and so many things I want to 
do something a little bit different and end the perfect wreath for Easter. So I'm going to be using this ring that I have at home. You can get them from Walmart or from thrift stores. And I'm also going to be using eggs and I get these ones from Dollar Tree. Basically what I'm going to be doing is to be cutting the eggs on the back side. I'm going to use my knife and I'm going to cut a small piece to be able to stick them later on this ring and make sure that they are going to stick well and the eggs are going to look like they are part of the ring. I hope that makes sense. To stick the X on the ring, you can use a strong glue like E6000 or maybe like Gorilla Glue. I decide to use like regular um, hot glue and it works amazing. So you can use that and I'm going to be sticking all the X um, very close together on top of the ring. I ended up sticking about 8 X on my wreath and this is how it's going to look. And now it's time to add the paint and the easiest way is to use spray paint and I use this one in matte river rock color I spray paint my whole wreath and I let it dry once my wreath is completely dry I'm going to be adding a really cool technique to this wreath I'm going to be using my shock paint in black color and I'm going to be using an old toothbrush and I'm going to like spread small dots of paint all over my X and this is going to add a really nice touch and it's going to look high-end and it is a very easy and fun technique to try now because you can see the hot glue on the sides of the egg um, and I want these to look very like rustic I'm going to be using moss from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be adding the moss between the eggs and on the bottom part where the ring is and this is going to add a nice touch and it's going to cover all the hot glue all um, I think it looks so much better you maybe can add another thing if you want um, like flowers or greenery to cover the hot glue and also guys you can paint the eggs in another color or you can leave them colorful if you prefer. I leave a small space on the ring because on the sides I'm going to be adding greenery. I decide to stick eucalyptus with hot glue, just a few leaves to make them look a little bit fuller. And then on that empty space, I'm going to be using this super cute bunny from Dollar Tree. And it comes in a set of two with a few markers for kids. And you can paint it, but I'm going to be using this scrapbook paper that I have. And I think it's from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to draw and cut the shape of the bunny. And then I'm going to stick the scrapbook paper on my bunny. I think the edges of the bunny need something else so I'm going to be using a really like old technique that I used to um, do when I first start my YouTube channel and it is super easy I'm going to be using these type of sponges and I'm also going to be using like a very dark brown color and I'm going to be painting all the edges with the sponge and it's going to end up having a really fun technique and it's going to look like a weathered kind of rustic look now that I'm done painting painting my bunny and the paint is dry this is how it looks and I really like it and now it is time to stick my bunny on the wreath and at first I'm going to be adding two small um wooden cubes just to make like a better support for my bunny and then I stick the bunny with hot glue now for the top and to be able to hang my wreath from anywhere I'm going to be adding a small piece of nautical rope from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to be turning a piece of twine around to make like a knot look guys once I was done this is how my project turned out and no, oh, I really like it I think it's super cool it looks amazing with a high-end look you can change the look with the colors that you decide to use with your ex and I think it's a very fun idea to try now for Easter going to be using this super cute Easter basket that I get from Dollar Tree. It comes in a set of 
two I'm only going to be using one for this project and I'm going to be removing the handle and then I'm going to be cutting the two the two small like dots that protrude from the basket and then I'm going to be using my sanding sponge to sand then those pieces of like plastic to make them look as better as I can then I'm going to be using these candle holder that I get from Dollar Tree I'm reusing this one that's why it is white and black um, but I'm going to be sticking that to the bottom of the basket using E6000 and hot glue to make sure that it's going to stay strong then I'm going to be painting these using this matte pale sage spray paint and I'm going to give it only one coat of paint and it already looks amazing so I'm going to leave it with one coat and then I'm going to be decorating these bees. To decorate it, I'm going to first add some height inside to be able to stick this small candle and then I'm going to be adding um, this greenery bouquet that I get from Dollar Tree. I love these, I love the colors it has. So I'm going to be cutting a few pieces and then I'm going to be adding them to my, my basket and make sure that it's covered with the greenery. Once I was done, this is how this project turned out. It was super simple. You can add more details to the basket if you want. I want to leave it simple. And I love how it looks and I hope that you like it too. It was so inexpensive to do and it looks amazing. using aluminum foil and you probably had this at home but just in case um, you can find this almost anywhere or you can get it at Dollar Tree and then what I'm gonna be doing is try to fold the aluminum foil and try to form a carrot I'm gonna be trying to make a big carrot and that looks as real as possible until it has the size and the shape that I want I'm gonna be doing a total of three carrots and once I have them I'm gonna be using this youth cord this one is from Walmart and I like it because it's a little bit thicker than the one that Dollar Tree has and I will start at the thinnest part of the carrot to roll it until it is completely covered and using hot glue when you think it's necessary to attach the youth gourd to the aluminum foil then on the other side of the carrot I'm gonna be leaving a space to put the foliage inside it and you must do the same with the rest of the carrots Now I'm going to be using just one of these Dollar Tree foliage and this one is more than enough for all the projects that I'm going to be doing in today's video and I got some pieces of these and I'm going to stick it inside of that small space that you leave in the carrot and I'm going to be using hot glue and then you need to stick the rest of the youth gourd that you have um, to your carrot to make sure that the foliage is not going to fall down and you need to make this to all the carrots. As you can see, the youth cord or the rope mostly always have these hairs and I don't love it. So, so I'm gonna be using fire to burn them and this will give it a little bit more of color, texture and also I think it looks much better. And just be careful not to burn the foliage or your fingers. Once you're finished with all the carrots, you must put them all together because I'm gonna be tying them together with a knot um, using this ribbon that I get from Walmart and have the buffalo shake pattern. Then I'm going to use one of these wooden nickel from Hobby Lobby to make a tag. First, I'm going to highlight the edges with a black marker and then I'm going to make a hole with my drill. Now you can use your Cricut if you have it or you can um, write it by hand or you can use stickers and I'm going to use this from Dollar Tree and the only part that I'm going to be using is this one that says look 137 
and I'm going to cut the number 37 and I'm going to stick it into my wooden nickel and then I'm going to cut the letter E and the number one to form the sense symbol. Then just put the youth cord or you can make a bow and then stick it into your carrots. And my last, this will be the result of my DIY. So easy to make and super, oh my god, super budget friendly. I think I'd only spend like one dollar on the foliage because the rest of the materials I already had at home and I have used them in a lot of projects before. And I just love how it looks very neutral and farmhouse depending, um, I think, on the ribbon that you put on it. Can use one of these Dollar Tree signs if you want but this time I'm gonna be using these it's like a tree I get it from a thrift store for only one dollar so I'm going to use it and I'm going to heat this decal that I made with my Cricut and set home sweet home and yeah if you if you don't have a Cricut it's okay remember that you can use stickers from a Dollar Tree but even Walmart has many many options that you can use as well then I'm going to be using this small wreath that I had and I'm going to stick some greenery around and this wreath it's super small like I said and I don't really um, like remember where I got it I know that I have it for a long time but for this project you can use many other things or maybe like a small sign and I will also going to be using this mini Dollar Tree X I got them last year and I'm going to paint them with white paint and I'm going to use my heat tool to dry them faster. And guys, you know what I think it's going to look amazing too? You can use maybe these small eggs and put them together like a circle and make like um, a small wreath using these eggs. I hope that makes sense, um, but I think it's a great option. After I heat a few eggs in my wreath, I'm going to be using a ribbon and I'm going to put it on my wreath and I'm going to be hanging this wreath on my sign and I'm going to be using my staple that I really love. Um, so in the description box of the video is going to be the link of that. And guys, this will be the result of our project and I really like it. You can place it on any surface or you can hang it on the wall maybe or front door and that's what I end up doing with this sign on my home and I'm so happy how it looks. For this next project, I'm going to be using these 24 inches grapevine wreath that I get from a thrift store for I think only $3. So I'm going to be decorating these super simple perfect for Easter. And the first thing I used was these stems that I get from Walmart, only 97 cents. These are eucalyptus and I put two on each side of the wreath. And I'm going to put them between the grapevine wreath and I'm going to be moving the stems and the leaves and cover more space of the wreath then I'm going to be using this hop clover pig also from Walmart 97 cents super cute and it's going to add a nice touch of a lighter green with small flowers in white color and I'm going to be cutting the stems and I'm going to be adding these on each side of the wreath too this wreath is going to have the greenery like in only one side but like you see the greenery is going to be looking in different directions and then i'm going to be adding two other stems of eucalyptus on my wreath from there i'm going to be using these ribbons that i get on christmas clearance and that's another hack guys you can always check like the ribbons and flowers and greenery once a holiday or a season is over because you're going to find so many things on an amazing price and you can use them actually all year round 
This ribbon is perfect now for spring so I'm going to be using it to make a bow and I'm going to be attaching these to the wreath between the greenery. Now on top of the bow you can put any sign. I'm going to be using this one from Dollar Tree. It has the bunny shape and I really like it. It's super cute and I'm going to be adding a little bit of color, not too much. So for that I'm going to be using my wax in antique color and I'm going to add just a small amount of wax on my brush and then I'm going to be painting my sign. And of course you can paint your bunny any color you want and then maybe if you have a Cricut you can add a decal too that says hello spring or welcome or the last name of your family um, or something like that as you can see um, my sign has a small hole from the tag and I don't like to have that on my wreath so I'm going to be using this tool and I'm going to basically cut the wood and that way it's going to look so much better and with a high-end look from there you can use twine or a piece of ribbon cut a small piece and then you can add that to the neck of the bunny and then you can add a small bow and it's going to look super cute too You can add another piece of twine on the back side of the bunny and then you can make a knot with that on the back side of the wreath on top of the bow and maybe you can change these later once easter is over if you want to add an extra touch you can stick eggs and i have these from last year and they have very neutral tones so i'm going to be sticking two eggs on the top of the wreath and the other two on the bottom between the greenery once i was done guys this is how my project turned out and I really like it I'm very proud of this project and I put this wreath on the front door but of course like on the back side just for like privacy but this is how it turned out and I like it a lot you can always check on thrift stores for cheaper wreath options um, like this one or just in case if you want something like this I'm going to leave you a link of a grapevine wreath that I found on Amazon For the last project, I will be using this Dollar Tree foam board and you must draw two hoops, one larger than the other and you can use any round shape that you have at home and in this case I'm going to use this Dollar Tree wire wreath that I have and then you must cut the hoops with a razor. Then I cut a small circle from the foam board and I place it in the center of the hoop and I'm going to start by sticking popsicle sticks to the wheel and guys you can use so many things you can use maybe round dowels and you need to always cut them in the size that you need and you must do the same with the other foam board hoop to form a second wheel. So I know that the edges of this wheel look a little bit ugly, so for that I'm going to use youth cord and stick them with hot glue around on the outside of the wheel and on the inside. And this way both wheels are going to look much better. Then I decide to put one cap on each wheel. Um, this one are from peels just in the center of the wheels with hot glue. And I like it because I think it gives more um, like a nicer touch and more dimension to our project. Now you need to stick both parts together and for that you can use popsicle stick and hot glue to form your bun. For the ears of the bunny I'm going to use these Dollar Tree sign and you must remove all the wire garland that it has and cut the two bunny ears. Then you need to stick them on the back of our bunny on the wheel that is smaller with quite hot glue. Now, to paint this project, you should use spray paint in black ultra matte color and let it dry. 
once it's dry i want to create like a galvanized look but i'm going to change the colors so i'm going to use my Waverly shock paint in truffle color and gold paint then i'm going to use the same technique i'm going to be creating spots on the whole bunny with a brush and guys i really love these brushes and i use them to make so many painting techniques so if you are interested in having one i'm going to be leaving in the description box of where i get them At the end, you can add flowers if you want. You can make a cute bow, but I really want this bunny to look rustic. So I'm going to be heat youth cord around the bunny's neck. And then I made a bow um, with this floral ribbon from Walmart. And I really like it because I think this way is going to look nice, but rustic as I want. and that's it guys this is how our project looks like and i spent less than three dollars to make it um and it is a really nice size and oh my god i really love how rustic it looks and how it combines with my farmhouse decor guys i really hope that you like and enjoy this video as much as i do um putting all of these diys together my top easter decor diys and they are easy and so much fun to try and please let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video make sure that you are subscribed that you hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family and remember to follow me on all my social media pages my webpage jasomite.com and my other channel jasomite my home all the links are in the description box and see you on my next video Mwah. bye guys